I will not let you fill my father's head with a pack of lies. Lies? Lies, JB? You are the emperor of lies. Oh, JB, Susan, what's going on? I'm here to tell you the truth about your lying, cheating son. Oh, well, have a seat. Have a seat. Did, did you hit her, JB? No, I did not hit her, Dad. No, of course not. That I could deal with better than this. Better than what? Better than killing myself, trying to be a good wife while he sleeps with every woman he lays eyes on. He even had the nerve to place his hand on the Bible and swear otherwise. The other night we were supposed to meet at the house to discuss our reconciliation. He brought someone with him. And yet in front of you and your wife, he pretends to be righteous. I don't pretend to be anything. My father knows exactly who I am. Now why don't you tell him how, how you intend to take all of my money? Your money? I don't want your money. It's dirty money. I don't want anything to do with oh, it. Look, look, look. Calm down, both of you. Now, JB, what is she talking about? Probably her own little dirty dalliances from her own little dirty imagination. Yes. Yes, that's right. I went out with someone, and I made sure you saw us. I was hoping that it would shock you or straighten you out, but it didn't work. Instead, it just made me feel like I lowered myself to your level. JB, I have been longing to start a family for so long now, but I refuse to bring children into this environment not knowing if there's any hope for this marriage. And now he claims he has a sickness. Oh, he does have a sickness, Susan. An addiction stronger than you can ever imagine. Don't fall for it, Pastor. I don't believe in this sickness thing for a minute. Well, it's not like the traditional meaning of the word. Now, you gotta admit that there is a sickness within him. And if there's gonna be any hope for this marriage, you both have to want to save this marriage. And you both have to do a job individually to do so. Now, JB, you're going to have to want to be healed and take the responsibility to do everything and anything needed to be done to achieve that. And Susan, you're going to have to forgive him and be strong enough to stand by his side and support him during his healing. Now, can you do that? I don't know if I can do that, Pastor. She's already made it quite clear in no uncertain terms that she intends to divorce me. Well, by the fact that we're both standing here with you talking to me, it shows me that neither one of you want to give up on this marriage. Now, I know it looks bleak right now, but just give yourself one more chance. Can you do that? Now, I don't want you to answer right now. But just know that the answer to that question determines the future of this marriage and any hopes of having that dream fulfilled, of having a loving family. Susan, I want you to not only pray for JB, but pray for our family. You wouldn't believe how much this whole family needs prayer. I'll see you at Bible study. I want both of you to just think about what I said. I haven't seen you lately. I've missed you so. I've dreamed about holding you and touching you. 